Moving on to our fourth bout of the evening. Two faces that you might have seen in Thai fight before. This is a super fight at 65 kilograms. An international fight between Thailand and Iraq. Introducing first that man right there, Sajad Zubaydi. 20 years of age from Baghdad, Iraq. Standing at 175 centimeters. He has a professional record of 39 fights with 25 victories, 14 losses and no draws. Two of his losses have come by KO losses to Nong O Cho Harpeak on the big tie fight. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner. This is Pit Pakmai Shaw Shanat Muay Thai. Your name is Chai Shanat Do Sung Nun. 30 years of age, 173 centimeters tall from Nakhon Rachisima province. His total of 72 fights, 62 victories, 8 losses, and 2 draws. There you can see the tail of the tape for the fourth bout of the evening here on Thai Fight. You can see that Pet Pak Mai, 10 years the elder, a lot more experience, slight height advantage for Sajad Zubaidi. But it has to be noted that he's a very exciting fighter, is Zubaidi, and don't be put off by the fact that he's lost twice to Nong Ho. Yeah, I mean, Nong Ho, I mean. <laughs> yeah, absolute there's, there's, monster. There's, there's no shame in that at all. Indeed. So, Pet Pak Mai, you might have heard that name before. Well, you did see him in the last big Thai fight where he won a decision contest against Yunus Banali. And he's also defeated Gao A here on Thai Fight League via knockout. So, a one, one victory on Thai Fight League and one victory on the big Thai fight for Pet Pak Mai. Yeah, but expect the clash of styles in this match here. Oh yeah, 100%. We know what Sajad Subadi is all about. Incredibly aggressive. Yeah. Of we, we assume that one of his heroes is uh, Yusef Bouganem, of course. And he fights just as aggressive as Yusef. He does, he really does. And, uh, referee in there is referee Tuan Ingobon. Judges the ringside are Arun Gubat the Chat, Pukit Ramprayun, and Somshai Kahothong. Yeah, we've seen um, Sajjad's teammate, no long ago, Joachim Origi. He's had a lot of success in recent days. And of course, Sajjad, he wants to reach that exact level. He has, he has the potential. He definitely does. 100%. We said that, didn't we, the first time that we saw him perform against Nongo. We were very impressed. And that was, what, two years ago? That was, that was at Asia Teak. So how long was that? <laughs> <laughs> it might have been 2022. In which case, he would have been 18. I mean, he's still 20 now, so... Yeah, like you said, or like we say, a lot of potential. And he's fighting a veteran in the 30-year-old Pet Pak Mai. He was a perfect example of why Thai Fight League exists. He's 30 years of age, probably performing and training and fighting Muay Thai for a long time. Never had that break, and look at him now. Winning on Thai Fight League, and indeed last month on the big Thai fight in front of millions of fans. Yeah, really interesting tactics I'm seeing now from Pet Pak Mai. Actually moving forward, Sajad now doing what he does best, laying on the hands. Good stiff left hand there and left kick by Sajad, right kick by Pet Pak Mai. Yeah, and that's very Yusuf Bagunam. It is. <laughs> the style right there. Trying to go for the flying knee, but Pet Pak Mai was one step ahead. Oh, beautiful doubling up there, low kick to a midsection. Oh no! What happened there? Referee has to give a standing eight count. Oh, he's broke. I hope not. I really hope not. I mean, oh. that that would be a, no. He's a catastrophe. In pain. Come on, you. Oh. He does want to fight on. He does want to fight on. But I'm hoping he's not what I think it is. Just the facial expressions. It doesn't say. It, it says a lot. Let's put it that way. He's still throwing his hands. He gets up immediately. Referee doesn't give a count. He's fighting on a lot of heart right now. Big right oh, hand once no. again. Oh no, he can't continue. There's no way. I'm yeah, his hand's gone. That, sh that should be it. Oh, it's such a shame. It really is. Damn. They don't want to see that. Yeah, frustration. But don't break the other hand as well. I mean, that's true. <laughs> he's in a lot of pain right now, though. 
Doctors will attend to him immediately, I'm sure. Just something we don't want to see here, and um, unfortunately it does happen. Indeed, he's young though. Time is on his side. He needs to go and get treatment. He needs to get his hat together. Let's take a look at actually what actually happened. There's the right hand look there. And beautiful. You have to give the block the credits. Look at the way that he held his hands firmly high, blocked it. Oh. I'll tell you right now, Pet Pagma is someone who's adapted to the Kachuk very, very fast. He knows exactly what he needs to do to avoid getting hurt. And we saw it right there from Pet Pagmai. Yeah, and there it was. Throw it one more time. And He'll have to get that scene to I think he connected to the shoulder, in fact. Ah, you don't want to see it. You really don't. No, it is unfortunate, but of course, it is a combat sport. Things like this can happen. And let's just hope that there's nothing wrong with the hands of yeah. Sajad Zubaidi. You can feel his frustration, really. The winner by technical knockout, Black Corner, Pet Pop, my from Korra.